One advice I can give you is stop being so humble. Stop being humble about your talent that you have, that God has given you. I was watching the Kanye doc, Genius, and I love the more of the beginning part, I think one and two the most, because it showed his struggle. But there's also a part in it where his mom says to him, you know, a giant looks in the mirror and doesn't see a giant. They just see a regular person. And if you're a superstar and you've got greatness and you're born with talent, don't shy back from that. Don't be ashamed from that. You need to shout that up. You know, you don't need to be cocky. You don't need to be rude. You don't need to be a jerk, an a-hole about it or something like that. But you can you can be confident. You can be um, not so humble and shy away. You can be proud. I was saying to some of my fans that like, look, the Bible in Joshua 1.9 says be strong and courageous be strong and courageous it doesn't say be strong and courageous and be humble be strong and courageous and you know pride before a fall you know what i'm saying those are like two different things that he's talking about here you need to be strong and courageous for this music career you need you're taking land you're taking ground it is not easy trust me i know it's it's a lot of work to get to where i've been i had to be strong i had to step out so many times but it wasn't by being humble. It was cool by being cool to people, but being strong, being confident, that attracts people, man. That's attractive, not being, oh, the humble, quiet guy. No, I want to be the guy that's like going out there. The reason a lot of people said they looked up to me is because I wasn't afraid. I'd step out. Or maybe I was afraid. I didn't show it, though, because I just felt the fear and did it anyways. And you need to feel the fear and write that song anyways. You need to feel the fear and go walk up to that person. If you see them in a lobby or you see them out there. One of my favorite stories is my buddy uh, Nazri from the band Magic. He's written so many amazing songs for people. And he was playing basketball and he saw Chris Brown. And so he went up and talked to him and, and played him some songs. And even Chris Brown, I think, was shocked that he actually had some, some amazing songs. And he could have like been like, oh, Chris Brown's not going to like my songs. He's not going to like this. He's not going to like that. He stepped out, dude. I know another buddy who DM'd some famous rappers and they got back to him and even got him on a song. All right. And I can't tell you who it is, but like, dude, it's just like, I was like, he responded to you. He's like, he's like, yeah, man. And, and this is the thing. You're not taking steps because you're afraid. You're scared. And, and, and it's anxiety. It's not. Fear. I have a book called Fighter, Five Keys to Conquering Fear and Reaching Your Dreams. You need to read it because it shares the struggle in the pushing through all this stuff because this battle is so more in the mind than anything else. Like, yeah, you got to have talent and you got to have those things. I've seen those artists. They've got more attitude than they've got talent. And they've got more cockiness and whatnot than talent. And that, that'll get you oh, for a while, but eventually you got to have the goods and you got to be able to show up and you got to be able to kill it. You know what I'm saying? But for a lot of artists, man, they just too humble, especially coming from the, the Christian industry. Like it's like, you know, they want us to be so humble and quiet. And we're like these little church mouses. It's like, no, man, we need to roar. Give me some Stephen Furtek up in here. Give me some Katy Perry roar. I haven't got a song called fighters roar because you need to be loud, man. You got to get attention. And you got to be noisy, not in a prideful, prickful, jerk way, but in a confident, inspiring leadership way. You got to lead, bro. You got to lead, girl. You know how you lead? By being an example, by stepping out there, by stepping out for your dreams. You are so much of an example. When you have a big dream, I think it was Cardone who was talking about when you have a big dream and, and have something like big that you're going for, that attracts talent. That attracts, you know, like pe like the best talent, the best people, because they want to be around something that's big. When they see you going for something and doing something big, you know, when I start posting every day and I really get my VA on this and we're just cranking out content, people are going to be like, whoa, what is Manifest doing? What is going on? Right? When they see you taking action for your dreams, people are going to be, want to move closer to that. Not because you were humble and you didn't, oh, I'm just waiting for the right time. I'm waiting for the right this. You know, you know what really frustrates me? And I'm picking on Christians because I am one. What annoys me is like, I'm waiting on God. I'm waiting for the right time. Oh, I guess it's just not the right time for him. And uh, I'm just, you know, and they put the excuse on God. 
And it really rubs me the wrong way because it's on you. God is waiting on you. He already knows the story. He already knows what's going on. He's already got, it says in Jeremiah 29, 11, he's got a plan to prosper you, to give you a hope and a future. Well, if he's got a plan, okay, and he, to give you a hope and a future, like he already knows the future. It's already laid out. Are you going to walk in it? And he's like, you know, I got it laid out. If they only knew how talented they were, if they only knew you know, how blessed th they could be if they stepped out. And he's like, here, go, th go, go through this door. But you're like, no, I'm going to go the easy way. I'm going to go the easy way, you know, instead of going the hard way. You know, God, if, if God is our coach and God is my mentor, you know, a good mentor, a good coach doesn't make it easy. When you enroll in the army, they don't make it easy for you, bro. They make it hard. Why? Because they want you to be tough so that you go into the war, right? You need to be tough. You need to be strong. So why would you go the easy crap? But God's laid out an awesome plan for you, but you're procrastinating. You're letting fear, the devil, anxiety, right, hold you back from, from doing what you know you're supposed to do. And you have so much talent, but maybe you're, you just don't have the wisdom yet. You don't have the knowledge yet. You haven't gotten the coaching. You know I offer coaching, smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash coaching. Whether you work with me or not, it doesn't matter. The, the thing is, are you going to read the books? Are you going to get the answers? Are you going to make the changes and pivot? Or are you going to keep saying, oh, well, it works for them, but not for me? You watch that. What's so powerful about that genius doc is that they filmed at the very beginning and you see him playing hits for people. And because he just wasn't known yet, he wasn't getting the notoriety, he wasn't getting the respect. Well, you know what? You're not getting the respect yet. And that, but that means, might not mean that your songs aren't good enough. It might mean that they, they aren't. They might not honestly be there or they might be there, but you just haven't marketed them enough enough. I literally had someone, a fan, post on my YouTube page, and we got 75,000 subscribers, and he's like, dang, dude, like, why aren't you bigger? Like, your, your songs are awesome, and, and like, it's nice hearing that, but it also frustrates the junk out of me, because it's like, yeah, I know I should be bigger, I know, and it's because there's, there's, there's certain things I don't know, obviously, you know, I got almost a million monthly listeners on Spotify, like, I'm just not... Why don't I have two million, three million? Well, obviously there's some things I don't know. I haven't broken through that threshold yet. And you haven't broken through that threshold yet, but you will, as long as you keep going and you don't give up and you keep chasing this dream and stay on the path. You know, you know how many times I wanted to quit music? I can't tell you how many times I wanted to quit and give up. You know, so many artists, famous artists I know. One guy I interviewed, you know, uh, cause I used to always ask, I'd like, dude, is there a time that you wanted to give up and you're just like, oh man, this just isn't gonna work. You know what his response was? He's like, dude, every day, man, every day. This is someone who sold millions of records. It's my man, Sonny from POD. I got a song with him now. How crazy is that? How crazy is that? You know, maybe you have your dream artist and I'm curious, who's your dream artist? Post it below this video. Who's your dream artist you wanna work with? Well, set a goal and work towards working with them, right? It's not as out of reach as you might think. Your dream is closer than, than, than you think. And there, there's room. There's room out there for all of us. There's an opportunity out there for you. But you've got to seize it. you got to grab it. You know? You guys know I'm a Christian. I never push my beliefs on you. But if you don't know Jesus, man, Jesus loves you. And he's got a plan for your life. He loves you so much. And um, I really believe when you plug into God, you plug into your destiny. Right? Because one out of one dies. You know, no one's, no one's beating this death thing. One out of one dies. And I just like to know where I'm going to go when I die. And I just, God's changed my life. And it's another one of the reasons I, I do these videos for you is because I want to inspire you. You know, I didn't have a dad growing up. I lost my dad to suicide. Turns out he was a real jerk, real douchebag. And I was saying to some of my fighter club members the other day, some of my actual, my fans from, from Manifest, that, you know, instead of focusing on what I didn't have, like not having the dad allowed me to be a dad to other people. You know, that's probably the reason why I want to inspire you guys, because I listen to a lot of men that encourage me and inspire me. I've always sought out male mentors because I didn't have one. And now I'm so thankful for all the men that were in my life. Now I, I like to give back because I didn't have that. And and I want you to avoid the, the, the potholes and all the stuff that I went through. That's why we called my company Smart Music Business, because I made a lot of dumb decisions. I didn't know. I didn't have someone. Chris, watch out. Don't go down there. I actually did in, in, in some ways, but you know what's one thing? I didn't listen. And that's one of the things we ask you when you um, join our coaching program is, are you coachable? 
Are you going to listen to the coach or are you still going to, you know, everything, you know, and if you do want to join like our actual coaching program, that's an ongoing thing. Um, if you watch the webinar, smartmusicbusiness.com forward slash Spotify webinar, I think it is, it's probably below one of these videos. It's a longer training, but now it's through application. And then you talk to us over the phone and see if you want to work with us for a year and I'll, I'll mentor you for, for a year, but you got to commit to the year. That's the thing, right? Like you got to commit to change, man. And as my man Myron says, like, look, you don't try you decide. And that's maybe something that you haven't done yet. You, you, you're you like, oh, I'm going to try. I'll see if it works. I'll try. No, you don't. There's a big difference between trying and deciding. Deciding means you've cut off. There is no plan B. There is no turning back. Go listen to my song, No Plan B. You know, I've come too far. It's too late. It's my fate. I can't turn around. There's no fear in the mirror to hold me down. I'm too far from the start. Now I'm in too deep. You're in too deep. You gotta stick to the plan. No turning back. No turning back. No other path. This is your path. I'm no other path Cause I know that this road is my destiny I've gotta stick to the plan Go listen to No Plan B I hope it uh, inspires you today Go write a song, take action Love you so much Want to remind you that a fighter isn't someone who never fails A fighter is someone who never quits